G'day folks, this is a Wico type EK Magneto, come off my 3 horsepower international harvester engine. Now I've obtained a core assembly which is supposedly pretty good. This one here is very weak and will not fire under compression. This one here is supposed to be in good working order. So I'm going to try and rebuild it by swapping components from this one over to this core here. I've got the other housings and things from this dud magneto. I've just got to swap all these components and things. There's aluminium die castings, the brass housing, points housing, and so on. That's the uh, bare magneto assemblies. That's the one I want to use. And that's the old one. It seems to have surfaced ground this whole area here. Whereas the other one has raw, like cold pressed spring steel leaves in it. This one here has been surface ground flat. With a bit of luck they'll still fit together alright. Yeah, the same thickness. So I've got to take these aluminium die castings and things off and swap them over. This brass support. There should also be a condenser inside the bottom there. Down there. Well, the presence of new PVC leads and this uh, condenser wrapped in masking tape floating around down the bottom here sort of lends me to believe this might be a reconditioned magneto or rebuilt. I'm not sure whether I really need this one here. This thing here could be arcing out through ground, I don't know. It's funny the way they've set it up. And that's soldered in place compared with that one there which is fully insulated. Not too sure what's going on with this one. It looks like it has been rebuilt. A lot of evidence of heavy surface rust that's been cleaned off but yeah, I don't know. Well I got it back together with the old coils. I've already pulled the spark off it anyway, so it's pretty, pretty good. I can set it up properly. Well, this one seems to be sparking pretty well. better than the old one. The old one didn't have enough voltage to jump the gap under compression. I'll screw the spark plug in and see if this thing wants to fire.
nicely restored magneto instead of going flat out and polishing the brass to a mirror, mirror finish I decided to give it a light rub down on the wheels and leave that sort of rustic look still got a lot of corrosion and little dents in it but I'm not going to restore the engine 100 percent I'm going to leave the original paint on it so I think this magneto is going to look quite nice the tag came out quite nice That's just the uh, complete magneto with the moving section in place and the little brass cover. Very nicely made unit too. Made in Springfield, Massachusetts. It even says here, guaranteed for all time against defects in material and workmanship. Certainly don't make them like that anymore. The only thing I can find wrong with that one there is that it's just weak coils. It looks like it's been rebuilt. That's not a good sign. There's a lot of corrosion pitting on the core, so I'd say she's been submerged in water for a while, rebuilt and probably not done properly. But this one here, the original coils, is in top condition. The engine's a nice runner now. Seems a bit different now that I'm not run using a car ignition coil. Uh, it's a bit more in its character anyway. It's designed to run off a magneto, not a standard ignition coil. So, we'll see how it goes. Just got to fix this oiler so it doesn't leak down into the water and cylinder. That's why there was so much smoke on startup before. Every time I shut it off, it just keeps leaking. So that's next on the list. I'll rebuild the oilers and grease, clean the grease cups out and put proper grease in them. I'll find out what's recommended anyway. So, yeah, thanks for watching.